Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure, Spencer? Uh, oh, and I thought you'd be happy to see me. Well, usually we get a warning. I'm touched. Now that I'm here, you might want to know that it's for the Erdl's event tomorrow. I've been personally invited. You mean he invited the Duke and Duchess? No, Gordon. Not this time. Well, yes, they're tagging along. The Earl specifically wants me to be there. I'm guessing I'll be rewarded for how much of an asset I've been for his projects. Oh, I doubt that. Spencer, I'm going as well. It is being held right outside of Tidmouth. Though I am curious as to why he asked for you specifically. Who was that? Don't ask me! Uh, goodbye, Spencer. Yes. Bye, Gordon. Hello, everyone. Hello, Gordon. How was the express? Great as always, Edward. Although, I have a question. Yes? Has anyone come into Knapford before me? I mean, anyone different than usual? Hmm. No, no one I can think of. Oh, the new dock tank was out a moment ago. Why do you ask? No. No, that couldn't be it. Uh, nothing to worry about. I just thought I saw something earlier when I was speaking to... Hello, everyone. Wait, no, 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 Spencer, wait, wait. Oh, hello, Spencer. I must say, your silver is looking lovely today. Why, thank you. Your red is looking... uh... Oh. <laughs> James, I'm only joking. Your red looks good, too. <laughs> Better. Well, this is a surprise. How have you been, Spencer? I've been quite well. Been busy pulling the usual excursions here and there. But uh, we've put those on hold for a while as of now. I'm actually going to be staying for a while to help the Earl. Yippee. You know... I'm actually looking forward to it. It gives us the opportunity to have a rematch. We'll have to see. Sir Topham hasn't been very happy about our past races, you know. Oh, I'm sure he'll come around. Hmm. So, what do you think of tomorrow, Gordon? Any guesses? No, none that I could think of. Perhaps the Earl is giving me a well-deserved reward. <laughs> oh, James, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Where have you been working for the past week? Ugh, I've been stuck at the coal mines with Graham. It's disgusting, there's soot everywhere. I keep having to get cleaned after every day and... It... That's your answer, James. You're wasting time with what could actually be spent doing something. I have to say, if anyone deserves something, it would be Edward. He's been working quite hard while Boko has been getting overhauled. Thank you, Gordon, but I doubt it. I won't even be there tomorrow. 
What? I thought we were all invited. No, Gordon. Well, yes, we were all told we could come if we had the time. None of us were directly asked to go. Oh. Oh! Wakey, wakey, Gordon. They're getting set up outside. <sighs> One second. I'm almost ready. What the... Well, look who finally showed up. Good morning to you, too. You know you can't just sleep the day away. There's things to be done. Rebecca has the first shift of the express today. I'm sleeping in. Well, if you need help with the express... No. Hello, everybody. I would like to start off with thanking you all for attending today. As you know, I've been hinting towards my future goals, and while I still intend to keep it a secret, I can say that this has much to do with them. You know, I've always been impressed by my dear friend Sir Topham with how he is able to run this railway so well, and I've been curious as to what it feels like to own such a fleet because of him. So. With permission to use his rails in coordination, I would like to present to you all my fully restored LNER A2 Pacifics, Connor and Caitlin Nollenby. Now, I know you may all have some questions. What? Now, Spencer, Gordon, I know you may still have some questions. I promise you'll get to talk with each other soon. But... Please allow me to finish my announcements first. <clears throat> Sorry. While this may raise some questions, my new express engine will play an important role for my big surprise. Now, I know I advertise a special excursion while keeping it a secret. I hope you all are very excited. This will be one of my biggest ventures yet. Oh, it'll be so exciting. I know that we have not seen a two Pacific. Uh, hello? Hello, Gordon. Spencer! Oh, so you know us already? Of course we do. How could we not heard of you? Well, your, your class. Hasn't there only been one preserved for quite a while now? It's quite a shock to see two new engines back from the grave. You've been gone for a while. How are you here? Oh, it's actually an interesting story. We were both withdrawn. But then when we stayed on the sidings for quite a while, we were just waiting for the inedible to happen. But at the last moment, the Earl came and purchased us. After that, he put us into storage for a while. So you were kept static for even longer after being in that scrapyard. That sounds dreadful. It was a bit boring, but we kept it out of the company, and Earl visited once in a while, telling us what he had planned. It was exciting to think about. Has the Earl told you? He plans <clears> to- <throat> Um, Caitlin, wait. I don't think we should be sharing about that yet. Do you two know about his plans yet? No, we don't. Then let's hold off a bit. But yeah, after being in storage for a while, we were moved to Groven's Gate to be restored. Groven's Gate? I thought this was a secret. Has nobody seen you? That's why it took us a long time to be restored. They could only bring us in while it was quiet. One did see us too. A green saddle tank, I think. Percy? How? He's horrible at keeping secrets. That's the one. He was nice. They did a great job of keeping us, um, mostly hidden. That was you at Vickerstown. Oh, you saw us? We couldn't make anything out. Your whistles, though. Not the engines I expected them to, uh, belong to. That's because the Earl wanted to try new things with us. I like them! 
While we're on topic, Cotter and Caitlin, he said. Those aren't your original names, if I'm correct. Yep, I was originally Sun Chariot. And I was Pearl Driver. Those are grand names. Why change them? The Earl did a lot for us, so we asked him if we could be named in his honor. So he named us after his grandchildren. Much better than a horse name, anyway. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. He doesn't like having a name based on a horse. Isn't that right, Enterprise? Spencer, don't call me that. Oh, now that's a grand name. Why did you change it? <sighs> Look, I'm not saying that your old names were bad, but personally, I just can't find myself being named after a horse. It's smelly things, it's the indignity of it. Oh, come on, Gordon. They were race horses. There's actual status to those. You can't talk, Spencer. You've had your name changed, too. Being named after ducks. It was changed after the man who owns me. You changed yours deliberately. I didn't mind my original name anyways. Ha! Look, I respect the name of the LNER, but I just can't understand some of their naming strategies. I quite like my name. Gordon, this isn't really important right now. Fine. Fine. Ah, I see you're all getting along. Yes, of course. It was very shocking, but a great surprise. To have some of my Doncaster family back. Thank you, Sir Robert. You're welcome, Gordon. Now, I hate to cut this reunion short, but Connor, Caitlin, it's time to get you ready for your Spanish excursion. I know many people will be looking forward to it now knowing that you'll be the ones double-heading it. That sounds fun. Would you like any help, perchance? Oh, no, Gordon. Thank you for your offering, but I know you have your jobs for today. And Spencer, I have a goods train at the docks for Ulster I'd like you to pick up, please. I really am quite happy you all had the time to chat. Goodbye, you two. Oh. Well, I'd hate to end our conversation so soon. Why don't me and Spencer see the both of you out? Of course. <laughs> You know, it's quite amazing. Two grand steam engines back from the torch. Who's next? Stevens and Zaragat. Why are you both making that face? No.